I always had to take care of the people around me. I was fine with it. It was okay. But now that I'm infected and I have no one here to tell me it's gonna be okay, you're gonna be all right. Even though it's not true, it'd still be nice to hear. Sorry, I don't mean to be creepy. I just, uh, I gotta take you out sometime. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Can you put your phone number in for me? Okay, I'll see you. Okay. We met in 2047. We were young men, but I... I knew I loved her right away. She was breathtaking. She looked up at me with those big old eyes and smiled. And I knew right then. Hours flew by like minutes when I was with her. It was like I was constantly in a dream. I can remember the way she looked up at me like she was trying to tell me a secret with her eyes. I think she was trying to tell me she felt it too. I don't know how it worked, but it did. <laughs> I took her to a shitty diner with 15 kunas in my pocket to spend on the whole night. You see, at the time, the U.S. was still trying to exit out the dollar, so the Kunas were new. And uh, my family was poor, but it worked. And she was mine ever since. Well, it happened all at once. First, it took my sister-in-law, and we were, we were shocked. We didn't think it would ever happen to us. We thought the government or someone would take control of it at some point. But then it took my brother, and then his two kids, and then it took my parents. You wonder if you ever have enough. You wonder if at some point, you're not gonna be punished anymore, or, you know, God's gonna give you a break. You know, you have hope. And then one morning I woke up and I just, I knew. I took Heather to the hospital and she was gone.
Come on. You leave, buddy. Leave. Go. <laughs> that was how to take care of the people around me, which was fine. I was okay with it. But now that, now that I'm infected too, and I don't have anyone here to tell me it's gonna be okay, that I'm gonna be all right, even though I know it's not true, it'd be nice to hear. During Jesus Christ's Last Supper, he took the bread and gave each of his disciples a piece and said, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Well, I don't have any bread, but I do have some crackers. He then took wine and shared with them and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured for you. I don't have any friends to share with, but I do have a bottle of red wine saved when I was hunting for food in the convenience stores. I never imagined my final moments to be like this. I also never imagined being without Heather. For a while I thought maybe I got left behind to give humanity a second chance. But maybe God decided that we don't deserve one.
Blooper or what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>